Welcome to PC Wits Kids Answer Back episode number 31. Today we're looking at some more great questions that I've been receiving from you guys, starting with the new release of the GTX 580 and also the AMD HD 6900 series. Now this is Nvidia's response back to AMD of course with the new GPU, the GF110. Um, and uh, this new GTX 580 is going to have what it's rumored, 512 CUDA cores, 772 megahertz of GPU core clock, 2 gigs of memory and uh, running at uh, 2200 megahertz. So this is going to be a pretty decent card that's going to run cooler and quieter than the GTX 480 we hope. Question number two is could we install a Cooler Master V8 inside of an HAF922? Now yes of course I've reviewed it already I've showed you the case the width 9 inches wide lots of space there to add tall CPU coolers and the side panel will not interfere with the uh, fan that um, that you can put that you has on the side. Question three is: Can you use on an SLI certified power supply ATI or AMD? Of course you can. Okay, just because it's not certified, it doesn't mean it doesn't work. Just make sure that the connectors are there for your video card, and uh, you can install an ATI card no problem. Okay. And another question I've been getting is about how can you find out what the BIOS version is that you're running before you update it? Well, if you don't see it when you boot up your machine and you're not able to get into the BIOS to see the version in there either, then the other tool that I use in Windows is CPU-Z. Okay, you've seen that in a lot of my hardware reviews. CPU-Z allows you to basically get that information and all you have to do after you install it is go to the uh, mainboard tab here at the top and you run it and you'll see the version right there and the date as well. Okay, so that way you can quickly, easy get the information about your motherboard all in one spot. Now, question five is about web hosting. You're looking for a good price, most bang for the buck. You're not sure where to host your web site. There's a lot of free places that you can create little things, you know, blogs and stuff like that. But for a decent site with unlimited space and good bandwidth and stuff like that, the uh, HostGator is not bad at all. They've got tons of good plans. I'll put the link on the bottom here so you can click on it and get to this where you can see all the different features and what they have to offer and compare it against other places. Question six is about memory. Okay, you found memory that you wanted to install on your board, but it's not on the list of supported memory um, or recommended memory that uh, the manufacturer of the board says. So you look through their list here and you don't see the kit that you want to buy. Well, it doesn't mean that it won't work. Sometimes this list is not complete, they haven't tested every brand. Sometimes um, you might have something that you found that is matching almost in every way to an existing kit that is on that list, odds are it's going to work. Okay. Question 7. Uh, you want to upgrade your video card on your old uh, PC but you're not sure how to identify the slots. So this is an example of a PCI Express 16X slot. Here's a 4X PCI Express slot and so forth. There's an 8 and there's a 1. Okay, So you can identify it there. Also if you're running an AGP slot card, well there's two types. They're both the same uh, width there, but they might have different notches depending if it's a 1.5 or 3.3 volt. And here is a picture of a large PCI uh, slot. Okay, so keep the questions coming, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.